and at 30th overall with their second pick in the first round of the 2022 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs have selected Purdue edge rusher George Carl Loftus. And this is a great value pickup in my opinion. The Chiefs needed an edge rusher. Edge rusher is a premier position in the NFL. And Carl Loftus was a player that I liked quite a bit. I had him at 10th overall on my big board, but I was kind of wavering back and forth on him uh, with Jermaine Johnson and Trevon Walker also being at the edge position. I had both those guys lower than Carl Loftus, but I could see the move and the reasoning behind taking Carl Loftus after them. But to give you a breakdown on who he is, let's just look at his size and his measurables. George Carl Loftus is 6'4", 266 pounds with 32 and 5 eighth inch arms. So not long arms position at all. Uh, but he recently turned 21 in April, so he's a fairly young player. And he's been productive since his freshman year. I mean, as a freshman, a true freshman at Purdue, he had 54 tackles, 17 tackles for a loss, and 7.5 sacks. That was in 2019. He missed most of 2020. He came back this past year, had uh, 39 tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, 4.5 sacks, and 2 forced fumbles, and 2 fumble recoveries. And this past year, he set a career high with 50, well, actually, not a career high, but he had 54 pressures this year and 55 pressures as a freshman. So he hasn't really gotten much better from a statistical standpoint. But he's still a very competitive player who can reduce in the side occasionally. He's not tremendous against the running game, which is kind of surprising considering his size uh, and his weight. But I think he'll get better at that at the next level. He's going to be a really good bull rusher immediately. He's going to be really good at that right away. He has the power for that, especially in his lower half. And he is strong throughout his entire body. Uh, and despite having those shorter arms, he can bull rush effectively. And he does a decent job getting into the offensive player's pads and really driving them. And he's like I said, has a really good lower body to actually hold leverage and basically set the edge on the outside uh, and set a hard edge where running backs can't get around him. And he's going to a Chiefs team that needs help on the edge. I mean, really, Frank Clark has not lived up to his contract. He's not the same player he was in Seattle. And the Chiefs can't really get rid of him, though, because they actually need to have him around. And they've thrown some uh, draft assets into the edge position the past couple of years, bringing guys like Joshua Kendo. Uh, from Florida State, I believe, but now getting a guy in Carl Office who can come in right away and start opposite of Frank Clark.